おかえり朝日ご飯の準備は万全はじめましてお姉様私朝日くんとお付き合いさせていただいてるマリアと申しますいたいたマヨネなんてこと何の真似だキルマリア気づいてたの姿形を変えようと怪しい気配は消せません So episode 5 You know, I was about to come in here, guys, and I was about to go like. I was about to go in pretty hard, but watching the ED, it, it pulled me out of it. Like, I was going to come in and be like, yo, this is this, this is that, blah, blah, I don't know about episode five. But the moment the ED of this episode started, I was like, do, 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 do. It just gets me every time. The ED of this anime is the best ED of this season, and I think it's like one of the. Best things of the anime for sure. I just had to say that. Like, I was ready. Like, I'm telling you, I was ready. And the ED started just. Boo -doo 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 -da. Oh, man. It's just so good. It's just so good. And I know this is like the fourth or fifth. I think I probably said that every episode so far. Okay. So here's the real thing is like, I didn't have a whole lot of notes this episode because there wasn't a whole lot that happened. Uh,. My honest opinion is episode five wasn't very good. I will say, though, I did laugh a good amount after Kamaria appeared, after she appeared in like her human form. Uh, probably like once, once Kamaria and uh, Asahi went to the guild, and after like that moment and after. Uh, I definitely was laughing during the episode. I thought it was funny how like the guild girl. Uh, definitely is into Asahi a little bit, and Komaria was like all over Asahi, and he teased, and、uh, she teased、uh, the girl. She was like, eh, you know? I was like, that's pretty funny. When they went drinking, I thought that was pretty funny. When Komaria threatened the dude like, to not pay, I thought that was funny. I thought how Asahi got her to shut up was funny. I like how he took her back to his place. That was funny. I like how、uh, the thing happened with、uh, her trying to trick Maya and getting just. Bopped over the head with a broom. That was funny. Her try, her food was funny. So, like, the last portion of the episode, like the last, I don't know, seven minutes or so, was really funny. And I think that was really good. It's all the before、um, that wasn't very good. So, Asahi and Maya, they go and investigate a dungeon. This dungeon apparently、uh, appeared because of like a like, mana overload in the area, essentially because Komaria and because、uh, Maya fought. They caused some kind of like, I don't know, mana thing, but it created a dungeon. So they go and explore the dungeon. That's all fine. But the thing is, is like from the dungeon all the way until、uh, Asahi's talking to Maya, you know, and Komaria appears. So from like dungeon to Komaria, it was like pretty boring. And like they go and, you know, they explore the dungeon. But what I, what I found is like when you remove the silly component from the show and you lean. A little bit more towards normalcy, like more towards like fantasy magic,、um, you know, normal adventuring stuff. Like when you remove the silliness, the, like the over the topness that the anime ten tends to have, it doesn't hit and it's not very good at all. Now, there was still a couple of moments, like, you know, Asahi goes and、uh, tries to stop his sister from. You know, using a bunch of magic inside the dungeon. He grabs her, he grabs her by her by her boobas or whatever. Like that, that you know, that's fine. Like they had a moment. She was like, <laughs> you know, that's that was, you know, it, it got a little chuckle out of me. You know what I mean? But like a lot of the over topness was removed and、um, it just wasn't that enjoyable. The other the other thing that、I've, I have、um, come to find, and I, I'm going to make peace about this complaint with myself, is like. There's two things that I don't like when anime does, and this is a victim of, of that. And it's not, th what I'm about to say isn't necessarily、uh, my one hit kill sister specific thing. It, it's a lot of different anime, and、uh, it's just a gripe that I have. And that is when the character, and there's two gripes I have specifically. One is not completely my one hit kill sister specific, and one is.、Uh, but it's also he as a character, and. A lot of different anime tend to do this, right? It's like I remember when I was 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, right? Like,、uh, I, I, as many of you have, you know, are at that age, you're curious about 
about like drinking, right? Like you're you're curious about you know what does beer taste like, having a beer or whatever. I remember going to like you know uh, uh, parties and stuff like that when I was like in high school. And during that time, like you have a beer or two, like you 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 try out and you experiment with these things as every, almost every kid does. You know, maybe you don't like it, you know, and that's like the it's a first and last kind of thing. But one thing that tends to happen a lot in anime is like you have these straight arrow characters who, you know, like when he goes to the bar or whatever with Komaria, he was like, oh, we're going to cheers, but I only have juice. I only have high C juice. So here's my Capri Sun because I'm only 16 years old. It's like, bro, you're in another world. You're technically an adult in this world. Like, have a beer. Have some wine or something, you know? Don't go getting crazy drunk or anything like that. But if you've never tried it, here's your, you know, you're in another, you're not dictated by the rules of the of the world you come from anymore. You know, it's like you are an adult. You're an adventurer now. I'm not saying he's a physical adult. I'm just saying considered by this world. You know what I mean? Like give it, give it a shot. You know, have a drink with Kamara. Don't overdo it, but you know, have a, a you know a glass of wine, have a, a a tall thing of beer or something. You know, and it's just not specific to this anime. It's a lot of anime do like these. What a lot of anime tries to do, and a lot of writers try to do, and I think it's maybe because of whoever's writing the story, is they try and like have these characters that are like straight arrows all about morals and stuff but the moment boobs come into the mix they're like you know these pervert monsters it's like it doesn't your the bow it just doesn't make sense it's like you know you you can't balance evil with a lot of good like the if you're doing evil the good is still like you know, it, they don't it's like not like oh well, i did you know, I you know I gave to the poor, so those actions here they they don't exist. They're gone. It's like it doesn't work that way. It's not how the the world isn't doesn't work that way. You know, it's so like they try to write these straight arrow characters that like you know oh uh, I'm 15. There's no way I could kiss a 14, 13 year old girl or you know whatever. Like it, it's just these these things that come up all the time, and it just it just I hate it. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was reading like some uh, manhwa the other day, and some guy gets reincarnated into another world, and he's twelve or something like that. I think he ends. It's, it's like he's twelve, and he falls in love, or like you know, he's trying not to fall in love with this elf girl who's a year older, right? She's thirteen, and he kisses, and he feels like, oh, I'm a sicko, I'm a this and that. It's like, but you were reincarnated. You're like, you're not a 50 year old person or dude you know anymore i get internally but you're not anymore so it's like don't feel wrong about feeling a certain way because your mind is the mind of this young kid so it's like these things that just keep happening anime they just bother me too much and it's like i rather them not mention it at all like in this moment in this one hit kill sister i rather he be there drinking with Kamaria and be like cheers and them not mention that he's drinking beer or wine or juice. They let it let that moment just be up to us, the viewer. Now, if there's gonna be something after, like oh, he's gonna be like, what? What? you know, you're trying to be drunk. I I get that they don't leave much to the imagination. But in this scene, he could have had a one drink. You know, cheers with Kamaria. They walk out. You know, maybe they still show Kamaria getting drunk. Like we don't know. You know, like let us have that. Let us formulate this story. You know, I think it's a better way to do it. The other thing that I don't like specifically about my one hit kill sister is like I understand that it's about the sister, but like he keeps referring to now uh, Kamaria and the other girls around him as like the big sister people. It's like, like it's just so creepy, you know? Like it's like dudes in real life who like oh you know they they find a girl like oh you're like you're like my you're my little sister now, but like you want to jump her, you know? It's like it. It's just creepy and weird. Like, stop referring. Just be like, "Oh, you're my friend," you know. Um, I don't know. It's just it, it just troubles me. It's like, here's your actual big sister. Don't start, you know, Kamaria, the guild girl. Like, oh, my big sisters in my life. You know, it's just so it's creepy and I don't like it. Uh, but those are my two major gripes. The episode though was funny. The episode though, you know, it is this anime is what it is. I'm enjoying it still. You know, these are just natural gripes that I have with anime. It, you know, it's just every anime tends to replicate itself. You know, every writer takes inspiration from their favorite creator, so I get it. Uh, it's just one of those things. Anyways, I'll let you guys go.